Good morning. While I have a minute with your moms, I'd like you guys to get your Bibles and turn to the book of Nehemiah. That's in the Old Testament. And it's going to be chapter 2, starting at verse 11, through chapter 6, starting at ending at verse 19. Okay? All right, moms, good morning. All we need today is the perforated piece of paper that's in the Lesson 12 bag, a piece of construction paper, and a glue stick. Okay? All right, kids, I have a question for you. Have you ever been in timeout for disobedience? Who knows what disobedience is? That's when you don't do what you are asked to do. So how did it feel to be in timeout for disobedience? Did you think about what you did wrong? Well, today's Bible adventure is about a time when God's people, the Jews, had not obeyed God and they had worshiped false gods. So God did what he had already warned them that he would do. He let them be driven out of their homeland to a faraway country called Babylon after their city of Jerusalem was burned down. So much later, while the Jews were in exile in Babylon, a man named Nehemiah wanted to go back to Jerusalem to build and repair the tall protective wall that was all around the city. The wall was important because it kept out enemies and it kept the people safe inside. Rebuilding the wall was a huge, impossible job and Nehemiah knew it. He arrived at night by the light of the moon and he went to inspect what was left of the wall. Well, Nehemiah was very upset by what he saw the beautiful city was in ruins. The wall had been burned and knocked down. It was broken down everywhere. It didn't seem possible they could, they could rebuild it. But Nehemiah prayed and he told the Israelites, the God of heaven will give us success. God helps us work for him and Nehemiah knew that. Everyone pitched in to help build the wall. Goldsmiths, Perfume makers, rulers, priests, women, and children all joined together to rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Now, while the wall was being built, Nehemiah was mocked, ridiculed, and laughed at by the people who lived nearby, and they all thought he was foolish. You know, they said things like, if a fox jumps up on the wall that you're building, it will fall over. And your God's forgotten you. Now, Nehemiah's life was threatened, and the workers were also threatened. But did that stop them? Nope. It only slowed them down just a little. They started to work with one hand and carry a sword in the other to defend themselves. Now, many times when we work for God, Trouble follows us, just as it did for Nehemiah. That's because God's enemy, the devil, doesn't want us to do God's work. But too bad for him, God helps us. The wall was finished before anyone believed it could be. And that kind, the kind of thing that happens when God helps us. Now, God helps each one of us work for him. In the story of Nehemiah, God enabled many people to help with the rebuilding of the walls around Jerusalem. Not all of them had the same skills, but they all worked together to accomplish a common goal. And God was right there with them, helping them every step of the way. God takes the contributions of each of us and our special talents, and he makes great things happen with that. So I'd like you to take out the four pictures now that show different parts of our story. Go ahead and tear them apart so that they're individual pieces of paper. And I want you to look at them and decide which picture looks like it goes first in our adventure. I'm going to lay mine out on the table. And you know, I think that the picture of Nehemiah praying over the rubble. See the rubble here? I think that's the first picture in our story. So what we're going to do is I want you to go ahead and take that picture and I want you to color it 
and then you're gonna glue it in the top left-hand corner of your piece of construction paper because this is the first picture in our story. Okay, so you can pause the video for a few minutes while you do that and then come back and we'll finish our adventure. So let's decide what the second picture in our story is about. Well, I think the second picture is this picture here of all the people working together and building the wall. So this will be the second picture that we're going to color and then glue to our construction paper right next to the first picture. Okay, so this is gonna be in the right-hand corner of your paper. You can pause and do that if you want. Okay, which one of these last two pictures goes next? Well, I believe that it's this picture of Nehemiah here and he's praising God that the job was done and that he was able to help. So this will be the next picture I'd like you to color and then glue to the bottom left-hand piece of your construction paper, okay? Go ahead and pause while you do that. Okay, the last picture we have here is of what do you think this is? This is the people celebrating and praising God that the wall of Jerusalem was rebuilt. So I'd like you to color this one and then glue it to the bottom right hand corner of your paper. You can pause while you finish that and then we'll finish up. Okay, so now that your picture's all colored, I, you'd be able to tell the different parts of the story um, to your family, but it's also a good thing for you to hang up to remind you that God helps us. When we're doing his work, God helps us to do those things. Um, so we should never feel like we can't accomplish something. If we're doing something for God, he'll be right there beside us, helping us along. So I want you to hang that up somewhere to remind you that God will help you if you're doing his work. All right, and I'd like you to join me here again next Sunday when we're going to learn about how God used a young woman to save her people. Bye-bye.